Hey guys, it's Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today I'm sharing a project with you for an ornament that I'm actually giving to my brother and sister for Christmas. I have a 26 year old photo of the two of them with my grandma, or my ninny as I called her. It was the last one taken before she passed away and I'm turning it into a palette picture frame ornament. Don't forget you can win this one as well as all of the 12 upcycled Christmas ornaments that I'm making this holiday season. So just check the description for the link to my blog where you can sign up with the raffle copter. For now let's get started with the supplies we're going to need. First, you'll need a jigsaw, you'll need a sander or sandpaper, a drill with a hole saw, a 1 8 inch drill bit, eye screw, and of course you'll need some pallet wood. I'm going to cut out the photo now so that I can use it to estimate the size of the hole saw that I need, but you really don't have to cut a circle as the hole saw will leave you with that circular opening in your ornament, but I'm just trying to see exactly what I'm working with before I get started. So um, next I'm going to trace out the shape of my gift box and the easiest way to do this is to draw two lines across your pallet wood. Mine are at three quarters of an inch and three inches. Then you'll draw two lines perpendicular to those um, about a quarter of an inch in. And then the hash marks indicate areas that are going to be removed um, while I'm cutting. So once you have your template um, you can go ahead and cut your hole. Just try to center that up and use your hole saw to cut out your um, picture opening. So once that's done, we can start cutting out our um, gift box cut. So I'm going to start with the lid, those two quarter inch marks. And then when that's done, we can flip our board around and we can make that one cut all the way across the bottom of the box at the three inch mark and just remove the bottom of the palette. And then we're going to remove the areas that are shaded and then give our ornament an overall sanding. Now I've made a mark in the center of the top of my ornament. I'm going to drill a hole there and this is for our eye screw. And when you are screwing in your eye screw it's probably going to give you a tough time after a certain amount of time. So you can stick a pencil in there or a screwdriver in there. Um, I think I have an Allen wrench here from Ikea. And I just stick that in there and um, continue twisting until that's all the way in. And now I'm going to go back inside and we're going to get this thing decorated. I used glitter and a fancy wire rimmed bow um, on mine, but of course you can decorate it however you want to. But for mine, here's what I used. I used two different colors of paint, just white and black. And then you'll need um, a few different types of paint brushes for painting on paint and glue. Um, decoupage, this is optional and I'll show you where I used it regular white glue with glitter and of course you'll need your palette ornament the picture that you cut out and a piece of felt backing this is a sticky back felt and it's the EcoFi stuff that's made out of plastic bottles your wire rimmed ribbon and just a small little piece of craft wire and of course you'll need your hot glue so first things first, we're going to do a double coat or three coats of paint on your piece. And then we're going to make a little line to separate the box from the lid. Add some white glue to that inner circle. Add some glitter to that. And then if you want to, you can add some decoupage on top of that to help seal in the glitter. Once that's finished, we just need to make a backing um, for a, a place to keep the picture attached to the frame. So I'm using this felt here, and I'm going to cut a piece that is almost covers the entire backside of the ornament. I don't want it to hang over, but I want it to have enough um, material there to keep the picture in place. And that looks pretty good. So you're going to take your picture and you're going to lay it on top of the circle so that the faces show through and then flip it over and make sure it's lined up the way you want it to be. And then lay it back down face down and don't move your picture be real careful to leave it the way it is now you can see I have a little space up here at the top but that's not gonna matter you won't really be able to tell um, I really like the way the picture looks so I'm gonna leave it just peel the backing off of your felt here 
and then you're going to carefully place it on top of your picture. Be real careful not to move your photo. Just put down a couple places, tack it down with your fingers and flip it over just to be sure that everyone's, everyone isn't where they're supposed to be. And then you can press that down into place. And now you have a beautifully finished backside of the ornament and the picture shows through. And there she is. Now all we need to do is add a little bow. And to make this, um, I'm going to just cut off a small snip of wire before I get started because I'm going to use that to hold all the bow loops together and I don't want to have to cut it when my hands are full of bow pieces. So first things first, here's your tail. We're going to start by making a little twist in our ribbon right at the place where you want your tail to end. You're going to twist your ribbon 180 degrees and then you're going to make a little loop and this loop is going to be the center loop of your bow. Once you get it the size you want it, you're going to pinch it together with that first crisscross section and you're going to crisscross it again. And so keep those crisscrosses on top of each other. Now make the first loop of your bow by folding it under, crisscross it again, and by crisscross I mean twist. Make the first loop on the other side, twist your ribbon again, and remember keep all those twists under between your thumb and your um, pointer finger. And then I'm going to make two more loops on each side in the same fashion I just did. And when everything is done, I'm going to take this little piece of wire, poke it through the center, and then wrap it around all those pieces. Don't worry about crunching it. It doesn't have to look pretty right now. We can fix that. We just need to get it fastened. So go ahead and squish your wire together and then twist it just a couple of times. And then you can use your scissors to snip off the edges. And then I'm going to use my scissors to just flatten that sharp pokey part down. And now we can just floof our bow. Um, you can move all of those loops and tails and um, get everything looking the way you want it to look. And then I always like to finish my tails there. Now we have a pretty bow to put on our picture frame. However, I'm going to use um, a fresh ornament because I'm told that um, by my 12 year old niece that this one that's going on my sister's tree has to have either a blue, silver, or white bow because that's the theme of their tree. So um, this ornament here is the one that the winner of the contest will win. So I'm going to glue this down with just a little bit of hot glue or a lot of hot glue, <laughs> whatever works. Just plop that into place. And then there's your finished ornament. And then one with the picture.